If you live in the Woodlands or you are thinking about moving to the Woodlands, you're gonna to wanna to check this video out. The Woodlands, Texas Real Estate Market Review for October 2023 is in. And bear in mind, we are in the thick of holiday season. It is naturally gonna be slower. There's naturally gonna be less activity. So numbers are gonna look a little wacky over these next few months than what they typically look like in the spring and summer. So. Last month, we had 135 new listings hit the market, which is down 1.46% from October 2022. This is the closest year-over-year -year change that we have seen in a long time. Now, I don't want to get my hopes up and think that this is the start of something new, and we're going to start seeing positive new listing data in the next few months because we're still experiencing relatively high interest rates. We've got a lot of homeowners that are locked in at twos and threes, and it's still a huge challenge to get them comfortable with the idea of trading in that two, three, four percent or whatever they have for a six, seven. At one point we were up at eight, it's come down from then, but also home prices are more expensive as well. So getting these homeowners to be comfortable with putting their homes on the market is an uphill battle. I'm taking this as positive news, but I am not gonna get delusional and think that we're gonna start seeing positive changes with new listings year over year. Despite this being the closest year over year change that we've seen, the number of solds did drop pretty dramatically. We had 82 homes sell last month, which is down 35.43% from the 127 homes that sold last year. Total active inventory is up. We're at 218 active listings on the market throughout the month of October. Now, this is good news. It's good to have more inventory. It doesn't necessarily mean because it's from new listings. It's a lot of carryover inventory as homes are taking longer to sell and fewer homes are selling. This is good news for buyers that are looking for different options and want more choice. They want more freedom to be able to take their time and actually make some of these decisions over the weekend. The median sales price is down 9.35% year over year to $584,250. And the overall average list price to sales price ratio in the Woodlands continued its seasonal decline to 98.57%. Months of inventory is up to 2.7, which is pretty typical to see this climb throughout the third and fourth quarter. And days on market are also slightly up to 31 days, which is still extremely rapid compared to pre-pandemic markets. November and December is when things really start slowing down. So it won't be surprising to see much lower numbers of new and sold listings, lower sales prices, longer days on market, and lower list price to sales price ratios as we head into the spring market. See, we're not gonna just see these numbers for November and December. We'll also see them in January because those are gonna be all the December homes that have gone under contract and possibly into the beginning of February. Now, if you're like my savviest buyers and you're looking for a really great deal in real estate, this is the ideal time for you, not only our interest rates steadily coming down, but there's a lot less volatility with the interest rates. We're not seeing these wild swings up and down that we've typically seen throughout the year. We've also got a lot more inventory than what we had at the beginning of the year. And buyer competition is, for the most part, a little bit lower. Keep in mind, real estate is a very hyper local. So what may be happening in some neighborhoods is not happening in others. We're still seeing multiple offers. We're still seeing homes selling above their list price. In fact, of the 82 homes that sold in October, more than a quarter of them sold above their list price. So it really does depend on the price point and the neighborhood to determine if that buyer activity actually is coming down significantly enough. So. If you are looking for a great deal and you don't mind shopping during the holiday season, get in contact with me. All my contact info is gonna be pinned in the comments. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. Let's sit down and have your strategy session and go over your situation, what your goals are, what you want to achieve, and where you're looking at so we can take a look at the activity in those neighborhoods